So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and use the brand new edits application by Meta. Now, this is a Instagram application. This is kind of like CapCut, but for Instagram, and it allows you to edit up your photos and your videos, mostly your videos and your reels before posting them into Instagram reels. So this is what the application looks like. You can see it says a new video editor from Instagram, keep, tra keep track of ideas, capture high quality footage, export in 4K with no watermark, easily remove any background. There's a lot of capability here. So I'll give you a really quick rundown on exactly how to use this app. Again, the more you use it, the more you're gonna learn it. So the way this particular application works is once you open it, it's going to have you log into your Instagram account. So it's tied in directly to Instagram. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, if you go through and you can see this particular application, this is the first page you're going to come into, but there's gonna be some other pages too. This first page is like a stickies page. I guess this is like capture ideas with stickies when inspiration strikes. So you can go through and add a quick sticky note. If you wanna write down some sort of like idea you have, you can go and write it down on this page, which is actually really cool. You have this Reels button, which brings you right into Instagram Reels, which is really awesome. You can also go through and click on this middle button, which is your projects page. This button is kind of like a if you wanna capture footage straight within the application, you can just go through and start recording it here. Then you also have this particular page, which allows you to go ahead and see essentially like your insights and your analytics behind your Instagram account. Now, if you wanna create your first project, you can click on the middle page. You also have your profile icon in the top right corner here. If you tap on it, it gives you kind of a familiar type of Instagram layout. You can tap onto here if you wanna jump right into Instagram and you can log out of your account there. Now, if you want to, you can tap on this plus button in the bottom right corner and it will allow you to start creating your first project. And you can do that by bringing in some footage. So you can either bring in some photos, you can bring in some videos, totally depends on what you wanna do. If I wanna go and bring in this video and this photo and then this photo, I can go and do so. I can click on add, and then it will start automatically compiling that into my video editor. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time to load, but this is very similar to CapCut. So the way this works, in the top left button, you're gonna have a little bit of an X button if you wanna exit out of this. You have your project name, so you can go here and you can change your project name if you want to to something else. Hopping out of here, you also have the resolution you can export out to. So if you tap here, you can choose HD, 2K, or 4K. So you can choose exactly what you wanna export this particular you know, export to. And you can click on the export button in the top right if you're ready to export it out. You have your feed right here, so you can go through and you can kind of, again, edit up exactly whichever thing you wanna do. So again, this video is just a dumb video, but you have that type of capability here, which is actually really cool. So this is the video. I can tap on this video right here. I can hold it down. I can move this video around like this. I can go and highlight a video and I can delete the video if I want to. I can bring in more videos too. So you can see there's this like plus button. I can click on plus and there's audio straight from Instagram I can go and bring in as well. So this is really cool. Now you also have this whole bar at the bottom. There is a lot of stuff to do with this bar down here. There's like an unlimited amount of things. So you can kind of go through and kind of have a little bit of fun with it. When you tap on the video or photo, you can see it changes the bar at the bottom. So I would recommend you to kind of just kind of have fun with it. You can split the video like this. You can delete parts of the video. You can, you know, fast forward. You can do so many things here. So what I'd recommend doing is kind of going through here and really kind of keeping your eye out, you know, on this kind of stuff. Because there is a lot of stuff to do here. It's a lot of capability. And I would highly recommend kind of going through here and kind of modifying some of this stuff because it is actually a really cool piece of software that we have here. So whenever you're ready, you can click on the export button at the very top. It'll go and export it out and it's very similar to CapCut. And you can go and click allow to go and allow it to save the photos. And you can share it right into Instagram. You can share it right into Facebook. And you can also, I think, share it out some other way too. But that's basically all we really have to do now. So that's how you use the application. It's pretty basic. It's nothing crazy, but that's essentially how you do it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well done.